What up? How is everybody? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a uh, channeled message and tarot card reading on what do you not expect coming towards you. Sorry, I'm lighting some sage. Um, I just need to kind of cleanse my area a little bit. This has been a pretty tough couple weeks, a pretty dark couple weeks with information coming towards me. With channeling a lot of messages, um, definitely you want to make sure that you cleanse your area. So, and I am Native American, so I burn sage as much as possible because I know how powerful it is. Anyways, I have channeled messages and I also uh, pulled tarot card readings, or tarot cards, excuse me. Um, I usually start with the, the channel messages. Today I'm being told to start with the tarot cards. So uh, before I get started, just uh, sit back, relax, smell that sage, burn some sage, definitely, when you're listening to any type of tarot card readings. If the energies do not resonate with you, please do not make them fit. Um, we tarot card uh, psychics are whatever you are, your energy is trying to connect with, our energy is connecting with yours. If these uh, videos, if these readings do not resonate, then they're just not meant for you. Unfortunately, we can only resonate with so many people, and it's only going to resonate with people going through what we are talking about. Don't try to fit in anything that doesn't resonate with what you're going through. With that being said, let's get started. So I asked Spirit to please give me um, also zodiac signs that are provident in this reading. If I do not say your sign, um, do not think that this reading isn't for you. We have many signs in our charts, and it could just depend on which energy I'm picking up on. So we have Pisces, the Majestic, and it is imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic, mystical, adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy, uh, spiritual, emotional, escapist, impractical, oceanic, self-pitying, illogical. So Pisces is definitely strong in this reading. We have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is when you are receiving success through efforts, um, gain, and recognition. So you have been working hard at something to help your pentacles. Now this is only a three but this card um, screams, you know, success. It screams being recognized for all the hard work that you've been putting in towards something or even into yourself. It doesn't always have to be into a project, um, into a business, into a job. It could be just how much you have grown yourself, what you've been doing with yourself, how much healing you've been going through. All that stuff makes us very successful people. Those things we don't look at as abundance. We don't look at as achieving anything more than just being able to, to work through the, you know, the trauma, the trivias of life, the obstacles and challenges that we go through. But that all screams success. So if you're not seeing your pinnacles grow, don't be like, well, fuck. Sonny said that, you know, success uh, through effort is coming. Well, yeah, success could mean many, many things. Gains and recognition could be, you know, gains, you know, just physically, emotionally. Uh, it could be, obviously, gains of pinnacles because it is a pentacle card. Recognition. What are you going to be recognized for? Did you uh, solve a mystery? Did you solve a crime? Did you, um, you know work hard at a job that people are recognizing that you really put effort into? Did you invent something? Are you going uh, viral on YouTube? Um, there's just so many different things and so many different energies that please, you know, really think about what you've been putting hard effort into and really what you're going to be recognized for. We have Chiron, healing, healing powers, growth, amends, release, personal development, inherited issues, self-doubt, generational trauma, shame, sensitivity, forgiveness, superpowers, divinity, cleansing, softness, and pain. This is a sign of Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. So we have Pisces out here twice. We have control. So to me, I what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is you 
somebody has been controlling a situation. If it has been you, people have been controlling, uh, controlling your growth in life, controlling the way that people looked at a situation, somebody was abusing their control. Now, with that being said, what Spirit is telling me is this control is finally uh, known to the people around you, the people that have been trying to control people from knowing truth, uh, maybe money, uh, maybe hindering somebody's growth, taking away somebody's freedom. Somebody wanted to control another human being or other human beings is what Spirit's telling me, and that control is no longer going to be allowed. I channeled a lot today. I've been channeling a lot the last couple weeks because it's been healing me through my situation, but it's also been giving me the answers that I've needed a very long time into my family, uh, why my life has just been such a fucking traumatic mess and, and why, you know, people, you know, why people do what they do and why people act the way they act, why we react to that how people manipulate us, um, how people have manipulated me my entire life. Um, that is a huge message. Uh, Spirit really wants us to recognize manipulation. I never even realized my dogs manipulate me until I really started recognizing them, you know, telling me and showing me how people have manipulated me my entire life. Uh, manipulation has destroyed my life. Uh, and I'm not saying forever, but for a very long time. Um, but I can recognize it and I will nip it in the ass really quick. If I did recognize somebody was manipulating me, I never even knew it. Um, but I do now and I do know how to find or see the signs. And really, I was being controlled through manipulation. And I believe a lot of you are or have been in the past. We have workaholic. So um, maybe you're going to receive a new job. Uh, maybe you're going to start a new career. Maybe you're going to take over a family business that is going to require you to work a lot. I am a workaholic. Um, I have been my entire life, but I have learned to really kind of step back from that too because life is more than just working. This workaholic card can also represent maybe you are going to not work so hard. I know that makes no sense, but you're going to put your work into better funner things maybe you're an artist you want to start painting again or you know continue painting i'm sorry hold on i apologize my little wiener dog she likes to bark at the wind um workaholic can mean that you are definitely stepping back from being a workaholic uh you're wanting to really bring fun maybe uh creativity into your world i feel like a lot of people here are very creative uh you could be artists uh you could be designers Maybe you're just even tarot card readers. You know, tarot card readers are also very creative people. We um, have extremely large imaginations. We are allowed to, to really uh, bring in our imaginations to this. Uh, you have, I'm not saying that we are false, that we just imagine it. You know, we imagine that spirit talks to us and communicates to us. There are some, I'm not going to say there isn't. Um, you need to be careful because a lot of people go to school to read tarot cards, so they just read them. But really, you need to pay attention to what's um, actually being, you know, brought down, being told to you. And also, pay attention to the cards. This says workaholic. Maybe it is that you are a workaholic. You need to step back and enjoy life a little bit more. Victory and success, baby. Victory and success. So again, we're bringing out success. Uh, you have been working very hard. You are going to have victory and success, and you're going to be blowing this trumpet loud, loud, loud as can be. You want the whole world to hear and see that you succeeded in whatever you were putting your mind into, whatever you know endeavors you've been on, whatever you know obstacles and challenges you've been through. You are receiving victory and success, which is beautiful. We have the mystery card, the unknown, the unknownable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universal truth, oneness, source, the unimaginable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other worlds, space, the occult, intuition. This is a sign of all signs. Not saying all signs are able to do this. 
Um, I, I always find it comical, and this is my personal opinion, when I hear people say everyone's psychic. That's not even true. Sure, everybody has intuition. Does everybody use it? No. But there are people that are very intuitive. You, They know things, and they know it, and they don't second-guess it. Now, does everybody connect to the higher power? Of course we do if we worship God. If we worship our angels, guides, ancestors, we communicate with them, we respect them, we love them, we connect with the universe, we connect with Mother Earth. I mean, there's so much to spirituality, not just being psychic and tarot readers and whatever else. We are messengers for God, and we deliver the messages that God give us. We don't make up our own messages. We deliver what the cards say, but we also use our communication with the higher power to be able to do this. The Knight of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be like swift movement in whatever you have been going through. This could be a very chaotic time. Um, this also could be that you're very quick-minded. This also could represent um, somebody. It could be a Knight of Swords or riding in. Remember that uh, the Knight of Swords is, you know, typically somebody that rides in really quick but is gone. Uh, causes chaos in your life. Um, really uh, could be a very serious young man, but the serious young man tends to get bored very easy. They tend to come in and save the day, they think, and then ride right back out. So keep that in mind. If you are single and you have, and this could be represent a female, it is definitely, I'm hearing an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this also could be a knight that hasn't stepped into his king power. He could be younger than you. Um, I don't want to say that this person's going to, you know, most definitely write in and then be gone. But it is something to keep in mind. Uh, again, this could be a knight that's coming in to offer you love. Again, this person could be younger than you because it's represented as a knight. Take it as it resonates, definitely. Suppression. So there's been a lot of suppression of emotions, of, you know, maybe trauma, of anger, of sadness, of disappointment. Somebody has been really suppressing their emotions. Is that you? Is that whoever's involved in your situation? That could be a Knight of Swords. Maybe this Knight of Swords has been suppressing, suppressing their emotions towards you. Maybe they love you. But they told everybody, no, I don't, nope, 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 I don't want anything to do with that person. Whatever it is, there's been a lot of suppression of emotions. So even though this card doesn't come out in reverse, because I don't read this deck in reverse, I hardly ever read reversals um, unless Spirit tells me to. But this suppression of emotions is going to, either you've been working through it and you haven't expected all the emotions that you really were um, holding inside or it could represent the people around you but I would expect a lot of these you know uh, held in emotions uh, maybe depression maybe you're going through a depression to definitely start to fade away maybe it's going to help you communicate to other people how you feel what they've made you and there you go there's confirmation how you feel what they've made you feel like how they have left you in this position and maybe all by yourself um it, it is hard to always communicate our our emotions it is hard to communicate to other people because sometimes people just don't care they're more wrapped up in what and how they feel they think that oh you know that person's been through a lot they've handled a lot they don't need anyone they're strong they're courageous and really what spirit's wanting me to say today is that everyone needs somebody Everyone needs to hear that they're loved and to feel that they're loved. Everyone needs to be able to talk about, you know, I had a bad day. Well, what happened today, you know, you know, and really mean and really sit down and listen to that person to really um, see that a person is struggling emotionally. How can I help that person? You know, we all get so wrapped up in what other people are saying, thinking, doing what we're doing what's going on in our own lives, we are missing the signs from other people that they need our help. That's why suicide's so high. That's why depression's so high. That's why um, addictions are so high. Because if anyone will admit it or not, when you do drugs or alcohol, 
we are doing that because we are missing something or we're feeling um, inadequate or we're depressed. We're not feeling, you know, the way that we need to feel. That those things replace those empty, that emptiness, those replace, you know, like the endorphins in our brains. They tell us, you're not depressed, you're high. You want to live, you want to be happy. You want to go, go, go. But in reality, we're just suppressing all of those emotions by covering them up with addictions. And I'm not a doctor, I am an addict. I have been an addict my entire life. I will never deny that. Um, I. I am an addict that, you know, uses, quits, because I just, it gets boring, um, uses, and you recognize, well, shit, you know, I, I need to do this instead of be doing this. I mean, I'm an, I don't even know if I'm really an addict. I mean, I, I suppose, um, but I definitely know that I can live without anything. Besides cigarettes, I am an addict of cigarettes for sure. I love to smoke. That is one of the most unhealthy things a person can do. Uh, spirits tell me constantly, you need to quit smoking. Every time you smoke, it's killing you and it makes me smoke more. So there, I'm an addict. So aren't we all? Anyways, let me move on because I'm fucking rambling and I don't know why. We have impartiality. So this is like bailing or bailing Balancing out the scales. I apologize. Retrograde really fucks with me tremendously. If you've watched me for a while, you know that retrograde will make me stutter, will make me, you know, just not be able to talk. This to me is balancing out scales. This could be a sign of Libra, of course. Um, but this is people finally seeing the truth, finally being able to balance out what has been going on. Instead of being impartial to one person, they are finally coming together to be able to be partial. I know it says impartiality, but this card to me is balancing out scales. So you need to expect that things are being balanced in your situation. People are seeing the truth. Um, the truth is coming out. You're able to finally know the truth. If you are still struggling, please, please, please connect to the higher power, your angels, guides, ancestors. Ask them to tell you the truth. Um, you know, they will bring it to you in any way. They could bring it to you through tarot readings. If you're not psychic, then, you know, uh, they could bring it to you with just a conversation with Joe Blow down the street, Linda Lou next door. You have to watch for the signs. We always are receiving signs from the higher power. The higher power is always wanting to help us go on our journeys, to help us make the right decisions. To see the truth in every person that we are presented with, that we meet, um, you have to pay attention to, you know, is this person lying to me all the time? Why is this person lying to me all the time? I know they're lying to me, but I'm just going to ignore it. Eventually, you will stop ignoring it because that is a sign that there's something wrong there. Um, is this person always, you know, breaking our plans? Is this person talking to every woman in town and me? Is this person causing problems for me? Why are they causing problems for me? Is it because they really truly hate me? Or is it because they're in love with me? Are they obsessed with me? Um, is my family members talking shit about me? Why are they doing that? Why would your family do that? Did your family abandon you? Why would they abandon you? My family literally would tell people I was schizophrenic, I was a heroin addict, and a meth addict, and I was a prostitute. All four things. They would tell everybody about me, and that's no joke. Now, my family all abandoned me, like literally. And I have many brothers and sisters. I have a couple parents. Um, my parents were remarried and everything. There's a sign. Um, I have cousins. I have nieces, nephews, a daughter, um, It, you know, and my friends. Well, I couldn't figure out why the hell people were, like, not helping me when I needed help. Because I'm the type of person that would help anyone. I couldn't figure out why my friends didn't want to be around me. Why um, people would talk shit about me. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, I should say now, um, Spirit did enlighten me on that. And that's the things that people were saying about me. But in reality, none of that was true. But if it was true, who in their fucking right mind just walks away from a family member, everyone. 
if they think you're schizophrenic. Me, if I thought that about my brothers or sisters, I'd be the first one there. You need to come live with me. Uh, what can we do to help you? What medications? What, you know, what can we do to make this better for you? I love you. Unconditional love. Nope. Nope. But my family swore I was schizophrenic. Then they were saying I was a heroin addict. I've never done heroin in my entire fucking life. So I don't know where that one came from. And then I was a meth addict. Yes, I've used meth many times in my life. Um, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a human being. We all make mistakes and whatever else. I'm not going to go any further from that. But um, they, so here your sister or your daughter is an addict. You're telling everybody this. But where's your family to help you with this addiction? No, instead, what ended up, or, or I was a prostitute. Well, that my family was saying that because I was very molested when I was a child. Also, if you don't know it or not, I'm a human trafficking victim of uh, Wyoming. Wyoming human traffics people tremendously. And that's no joke. They are being caught. They are being shown for what they are. They also now know and have known for a very long time I'm a human trafficking victim. So you put all that stuff together. Really, why would a family abandon anybody? Why would anybody abandon anyone, period, unless they're trying to cover something up? Exactly, people. We need to take our rose-colored glasses off in this fucking world and really look around at what's going on. Who's responsible for it and how the fuck we're going to stop it? Because unfortunately, evil lies even in our own families. They will do anything to cover up what they're doing in the dark, even if it hinders their own child's life, their own mother's life, their own sister's life, their own aunts, uncles, whatever, what, however you want to put it. The fact is, is that this is a, an ignored problem in the world, not just the United States, in the world that people cover up. Now, when somebody talks about being that victim, who gets targeted? Now, when you get targeted, you're not just targeted by your family. Then the community starts targeting you because your family tells them all these lies about you. Then you go to another place, and then all of a sudden these lies start coming in about you. Um, this is a huge issue that people really need to pay attention to because there are victims like me, like my daughter, that are going through this that no one seems to care. When I was channeling uh, earlier, my spirit uh, guide said, you are the no-name woman from Rollins, Wyoming. And I thought, why would you say that to me? I mean, it just broke my fucking heart, seriously. And then all of a sudden, it made sense to me because nobody cared because I was a no-name woman. I was a, a single mom that worked to support her kid that nobody cared about all these years, 45 years, and all their dirty secrets are coming out. And now everybody's like, oh shit, she was telling the truth. Oh shit, she's psychic. Everything she was telling us is true. Oh shit, her videos make sense to people. Oh shit, oh shit. 45 years later, oh, maybe we should help this lady. That's the fucking truth. Anyways, let's keep going. We have triumph and success again. So again, success, triumph. We have the victory and success card. This is what you don't expect coming. You are going to be holding this fucking sword up high saying, fucking I won, motherfuckers. Whatever your situation is. Me, this is what I'm talking about. This is me. Yep, finally. Finally, somebody is helping that no-name woman from Rollins, Wyoming. That's the motherfucking truth. And it's taken 45 years of me suffering of my daughter suffering and other people and children suffering. But by God, I stood my ground and that's what we need to do in this fucking society nowadays. Because I'm telling you, people are making money illegally. They are hurting people. They have human trafficked people for years. My mother, me, my daughter, everyone. And everyone's getting away with it. Not anymore. And that's a promise from God personally. He told me today, there is no more human trafficking. People will be killed, literally, by God, if they human traffic. And you can believe it or not. You can believe my you know, story or not. I'm not here to defend it anymore. I'm telling you the facts. We have the 11th house, the edge. And it's a sign of Aquarius. 
and it is friendship, group creativity, community, <laughs> humanity, hope, tribe, festival, discoveries, common goals, startups, rebellion, experimentation, the future. So there is an Aquarius uh, represented in this. This Aquarius could be that Knight of Swords. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe this person's going to um, offer friendship to you. Maybe hope. Maybe they're going to have a festival to bring people together, to bring this community back together, to have common goals, to stop, you know, human trafficking or whatever's going on in your life. Um, again, take what resonates. I know that my videos have really changed. I am channeling a lot. I also am going to be sharing a lot of my own experiences because I know that's what God wants me to do. And I also am speaking the truth in my situation. And I want the world to hear me loud and clear. We have the Six of Pentacles. This again is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is financial success. This is being able to gift and share. Now, if this is you going to, again, have financial success and be able to gift and share to people, or this could be a gentleman coming in to be able to gift and share something with you. This could also represent important documents, inheritance. Is, um, this could be um, a new position, a new job. Being able to financially afford to be able to share with others. Remember, though, this is an important message People will manipulate people that have money. They will manipulate you because they want, want, want. Now, that being said, we all need to remember that we are responsible for the money we have. We could have billions of dollars, but when you have billions of dollars, you spend a lot more than a person like me. So you have to weed out. You cannot just be a person that gives and gives and gives. Because we need to receive back. We need to think of ourselves. So we're not giving all our money away and sitting back waiting for people to pay us back that never pay us back. And I have a, a so-called friend, I thought he was a friend, um, that I lent money to. And that motherfucker never paid me back. And I know he watches my videos. So there you go. Anyways, let's keep going. We have letting go. So expect yourself to be letting go, letting go of people that do not, you know, no longer serve you, uh, people that have, you know, taken advantage of you, have gossip, lied, um, people that have, you know, really hindered your growth, letting go of grudges, letting go of anger, letting go of resentment, letting go of fear, whatever letting go means to you. It is time to let go, release that to the universe, allow the universe, God himself, to do with it what he pleases. We have abundance. This is an amazing fucking reading. We had triumph and success, victory and success. Somebody's throat shocker or the retrograde is really fucking with me. I apologize. I know I'm stuttering. I know I'm having a hard time speaking. But we're getting this reading done. Abundance. What you don't expect coming is abundance. These people up here could have been the people I'm talking about that were causing all the havoc in your life. The wheels have turned, motherfuckers, and that's the truth. Because every time I go to go to sleep, go to meditate, all I see is t wheels turning. Or t the wheels coming off a bicycle and those wheels flipping like, you know, when you would like flip a bike tire over and over and over like that. That means that the wheels have turned. They are turning in your favor, obviously, because abundance is here. This could have been you before, fretting, you know, how am I going to buy a pack of cigarettes? How am I going to pay my electric bill? This is what you're going to get. Amen to that. And we have moving on. So again, you're letting go. You're moving on from a very traumatic situation. And I'm saying that because I know that the energy that I'm attracted to has gone through hell in their life. That's why my videos really are popular with people that need help, need direction, spirits here. I also have been through a traumatic time in my life many times. I have a lot to share, a lot of obviously wisdom. I am extremely psychic again and so on. Now, let's go to the channel messages. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because I'm already at 30 minutes. 
Uh, the first one I received is money, 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 abundance. Money has been coming out in my readings a ton. We have freedom. So we are being set free. We're being set free of suppression, of depression, of control, of not having enough, of not being able to have that victory and success, to um, not being able to move on because we couldn't afford it. Money is going to help us be able to achieve everything and anything that we want. Um, freedom, uh, freedom, again, I just explained that. We have health, so your health is going to change. Now, health could be mental, physical, emotional, anything that is really uh, hindering your health. If it is addictions, maybe you're letting go of addictions. If it is overeating, maybe you're going to start you know, eating healthy, dieting. If it is smoking, maybe you're going to decide to quit smoking. If it is doing drugs, maybe you're going to say, okay, I'm done with drugs. Or I'm not going to do them, you know, all the time. Whatever your preference is. Alcohol. Alcohol is, to me, the worst drug out there. Alcohol really, really, really does kill people traumatically. Heroin, I i don't even know that. I mean, I know heroin kills. I don't know because I've never done heroin. Of course, I've drank alcohol. Of course, I've snorted cocaine. Of course, I've snorted meth. Um, and I smoke cigarettes. I've done, you know, I've pretty much done most drugs. I enjoy them very much. I'm not going to lie. But again, they're illegal. We don't want to get in trouble. I am on a spiritual path trying to move forward. Um, the next one I uh, channeled is daughter. So something to do with your daughter. Now, is, are you having trouble with your daughter? Is your daughter ill? Um, is your daughter not living with you? Is your daughter coming to visit, going off to college? Again, put that wherever it resonates with you. With me, my daughter was taken away for financial neglect. No such thing. Um, but that's what I was charged with. That's what they found me guilty of. They take my daughter away. Haven't seen or talked to her in a year. That's a sign to me. Spirit says your daughter is coming straight for you. You don't expect it. You're hoping for it. You've been praying for it. It has been making you sick. And here she comes. Love. Love for your daughter. Love from your daughter to you. Your love really, you know, just being powerful, being able to start experience life again, or it's, you know, continuing to experience life again. There's confirmation. Sunny days always. So my name's Sunny. A huge message for me, correct? No. Sunny days. Maybe you live somewhere where it doesn't snow. So you always have sunny days. This could mean just happiness, abundance, prosperity, you know, love. This could mean that you are moving from somewhere where it snows, you don't want to live, and you're going to move to where it's going to be sunny every single day. Again, take it as you will. Soon you will believe in miracles. That message also had an arrow uh, pointed up to money. So soon you're going to believe in miracles because money is coming towards you. I, if you have been suffering financially, that suffering is going to halt. You will... Know how much you mean to God. That is also because you're going to, you know, receive something from God. Maybe you have, you know, been, I, I keep saying you know, and I apologize. Uh, maybe you've been suffering from financial loss. Maybe you have been praying and praying and praying that something would come out, the truth. Your daughter would be returned to you. Your daughter would forgive you. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest. You will know how much you mean to God. And then it says, we'll never doubt God again. And it points to the you. So you will never doubt God again. We all doubt it at some time. It takes a long time for divine order or divine timing to take place. Because everyone in that situation has to fulfill what God is wanting us to fulfill. So if you're dealing with 30 people that have been lying about you, but only one's told the truth, well, then you're going to sit there and tell God, until everybody finally tells the truth, until you understand the situation, what your involvement was, how come you allowed it, um, were you being manipulated, were you just a fucking idiot, and I'm not trying to be rude, I'm really saying that to myself, but I mean, just go with it. People will see you for the first time and know you are an angel. So maybe people have really looked at you in the wrong light. Maybe they have looked at you like a devil. Maybe you are an earth angel, a miracle that was sent into people's lives 
to help them grow, to help them connect to God, to be spiritually uh, connected, to teach spirituality, to be a teacher, to be a healer, whatever that means to you. And then the last message I have, soon the truth will be out and everyone will know you saved their children and love unconditionally always. With that being said, I'm going to leave that there. Take that as whatever you see fit. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I love you all so very much. I again apologize. kind of rambled a lot this time. I have so much emotions and so much to tell everyone. I just, my adrenaline just like is pumping a million miles an hour. I love you all. Peace and blessings.